a continuous rebellion leads to continued rebellion leads to the second death. All right. And so what I'm saying here is that, you know, a lot of people are saying, you know, what, what is death? So death is, is separation. All right. That's literally what it means. You know, when we die, our um, soul and spirit separate from our body. OK. And so once we hit the second death, the second death is being eternally separated from the father. And that's what we don't want to do. We don't. Nobody wants the second death. But we have to be willing to live a lifestyle that doesn't bring judgment on us to receive the second death. So we have to live out the Father's will. We can't be fooled in what we're doing as far as, you know, living a continuous lifestyle. And scripture clearly tells us, and this is why we can't be stuck, stuck at the hands of translators. And this is why we can't be stuck at the hands of, you know, just listening to, uh, you know, Mimo or Nana or, whatever you call it, you know, your grandma or your elders, this is why we have to study for ourselves. And even, you know, cl scripture clearly states it here. So let's go to Yochanan Aleph um, 3 and 4 through 10. I'll go ahead and read this. Everyone doing sin also does uh, lawlessness, and sin is lawlessness. And you know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him there is no sin. Everyone staying in him does not sin. Everyone sinning has neither seen him nor known him. Little children, let no one lead you astray. The one doing righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. The one doing sin is of the devil, because the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the son of Elohim was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. Everyone having been born of Elohim does not sin, because his seed stays in him, and he is powerless to sin, because he has been born of Elohim. In this, in, in this, the children of Elohim and the children of the devil are manifest. Everyone not doing righteousness is not of Elohim, neither the one not loving his brother. So we see here that, you know, if we continue in a state of lawlessness, we cannot know Elohim. How can you say you know the father and you make a choice daily to live a lifestyle of rebellion? And one of the things that as born again believers that we have to be careful of, you saying that you're not doing this, you're not doing that, you're not doing this. It, it's just like the, um, I think it was the the young man, um, I believe when Yeshua told him to go and sell his things, you know, he was stating what he didn't do. And then when Yeshua told him that, you know, he, I can't think of what it, where it's from in scripture, but when Yeshua told him that, you know, he had many things and it says he didn't want to give them up. <laughs> The thing is, Yeshua was actually about to make that man a scholar. He was going to make him one of his, his 12 scholars. If you look in there, that's what Yeshua was going to do. But because he didn't want to give up his things, um, you, he didn't get that opportunity. All right. And so you're saying that you don't do this, you don't do that, you don't do this. Well, the thing is, it's not about what you don't do. It's about who you are. All right. So the question is, are you studying to become who the father created you to be?